Hi, Crafting Kelly here. I want to show you this tutorial on how I make a flourish frame that looks like this. Um, I just wanted to show you that for a second, but this is the file we're starting out with. This is called a Design Block Flourish, and I bought it from the Silhouette store. So first of all, open this one, and we want to resize it, so we're going to go to the scale window, and I want the width to be 5.755 inches and I want the height to be 4.555 inches and I should have lost, locked the aspect ratio and just changed one of those, it would have been fine. Um, so I want to resize that and now I want to make it a compound path. Right click, make compound path. Alright, so now I want to draw a rectangle the size of my card front. I'm just making a standard card size, so again in my uh, scale window I want the width to be 5.5 inches and I want the height to be 4.25 inches. Apply. Now I want to go to my offset window over here. I want to make with this rectangle selected an internal offset. I want to choose my corner option and I want to make it 0 0.120 inches. Apply. Normally you would save your work right here. Now I'm going to drag a copy of the inner rectangle over. I just want to copy because I'm going to use those two together later. So hold down your Alt key or Option on a Mac. Click and drag that over. Now I want to center that, so I'm going to select those two, go to my Align window, choose Center. Now I want both these selected, which they are, and I want to go to my Modify window and choose Crop. And while I have this selected, I'm going to right click and make Compound Path again. Alright, now these two rectangles, I want to make them a right, a make compound path also. So right click, make compound path. Drag this over the top of the flourish. Select all of that. Go back to align, center. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I want to make sure that the edges of the center part overlap just a little bit into this area here so when I weld it I don't end up with any holes. So hold down your Alt key and just slightly drag it so it falls inside these lines here. So there's just a little bit of overlap all the way around. Then I'm going to select all of that and weld. That's a button I use at the bottom. You could also use a right click and weld. Now you could use this on your card front all on its own, it would be pretty, but we're going to go a step further. We're going to cut another section of the frame out of the center. Draw a new rectangle, scale window, we want the width to be 3.235 inches and the height to be 2.005 inches. And this time I'm going to make a an outer offset, a regular offset, back to my offset window, choose offset, corner, make it the same distance we did before, 0 0.120, apply. I want to do the same thing as before, I want to drag over a copy of the inner rectangle, so hold your Alt key while you drag that over. I'm going to center this again in my align window and while those are both selected, go to Modify, and this time Subtract. Now, that has broken this apart, and we went to make this a compound path again. So, right click, Make Compound Path. Alright, we are almost done. We're going to make this a compound path. Select those both, right click, Make Compound Path, drag it over, select it, align, center, and it's all selected so let's weld and there you go, that's all done.